guys, you're watching The Bare Naked Chef. I'm Adrian DeBerardinis, and today we're cooking a quick and easy pasta dish inspired by one of my favorite little Italian restaurants, Bar Pitti in New York City. It's a pappardelle pasta with peas and bacon, and who doesn't love bacon? Our ingredients are pretty simple. We've got, of course, thick cut bacon, about a half of a yellow onion that's gonna be chopped up into little pieces, English peas that are frozen or fresh, if you decide, heavy whipping cream, tomato puree, garlic cloves, chili pepper flakes, fresh basil, and my favorite thing in the entire world, parmigiano reggiano, parmesan cheese. Let's get started. Let's turn this pan on to medium high heat. Get that hot. We're gonna get our water boiling, which I've already turned on. Always start a sauce with good olive oil. Coat the bottom of the pan. I'm going to chop up this onion into little pieces. So hopefully, I don't cry. Let's chop up this bacon into little pieces. Bacon makes anything taste incredible, as we know. You really get that smoky flavor in the sauce with it. Let's put this in the pan. Get that sizzling. Move that around a little bit. Now, if you haven't been to New York City, it's some of the best Italian food in the country. There's a lot of first generation Italians that have moved there. So the food is really authentic and delicious. Let's get some of those chili flakes. Just a little bit, we want too hot. Grab about two garlic cloves. And we're not even going to chop it, we're just gonna throw it in with the skin on. Give it that mellow garlic flavor. Careful with the splatters with the bacon. Smells good already. Alright. Now we're gonna add the onion. Just move it over to the pan. About a half a cup. It in there so the onion's nice and translucent. So when that's well ready to go, we're gonna grab our tomato puree. You know you can find tomato puree in pretty much any grocery store. And the beauty of it is it's not flavored with any oregano, any other flavorings, any garlic. It's just pure tomato, so you can add whatever flavor you want to it. Add a little bit of pepper, freshly ground. Now, the onion is nice pale color, and we're gonna add the tomato puree. Just turn that heat down a little bit. Add a little bit of water just to thin it out. So that gives us some time to cook it down. Now I think our water is ready. It is. So let's salt the water. You always want to do that before you put the pasta in to season the pasta. Do about about a handful. That's probably about two tablespoons. Get that going. Now we're using an egg pepper deli pasta, which takes a little less time than your regular semolina pasta. So I want to say about five minutes. Get it al dente. Give the sauce a stir. And while we're doing that, we're going to chop up some beautiful fresh basil. I love basil. Ugh, it reminds me of the summertime. So fresh. 
It just really brings out the tomato flavor. Do a nice, nice little chiffonade of that. So let's add our pasta to the water carefully. Very delicate. And now we're going to add our peas to the tomato sauce. Let's give our tomato sauce a little taste, see if we need to add a little bit more salt. Yeah, delicious. Bacon is already salty, so we don't want to add too much more salt. Let's put the lid on that for a minute. Let's check our pasta. Stir. But another two minutes, we should be good. And right before we we're ready to incorporate the pasta of the sauce, we're going to add this heavy whipping cream. Make it a nice pink color. that in and the cream really kind of mellows out the acidity of the tomatoes so it makes it nice and velvety and smooth it coats the pasta it's delicious and I'm going to remove those garlic cloves that we put in because we don't want anybody biting into those and getting a big bite of garlic and spoiling the entire dish so I think our pasta is ready Give it a taste. Perfect. Get our colander. Put that in the thing. Let's transfer this. You get a facial doing this. Drain that a little bit, and let's transfer that over into the sauce. Oh, wow, that looks amazing already. Toss that around, get it all covered in that delicious pink sauce with that bacon. Let it thicken up a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese while it's in the pan. Fresh Padmigiano. Padmigiano is the best cheese you'll ever have. And it's high in protein. Give that a toss. I'm going to grab my tongs. Turn that heat off and let's transfer it to our serving dish and make it look real pretty. Wow. That looks incredible. I know it's going to taste even better. Finish it off with some more Parmesan. I love lots of cheese. A little bit of our fresh cut basil. And there you have it. Paparadelle with peas and bacon. Give it a try. You guys jealous? I bet you are. Get some of those peas.
cheese and that bacon in there. I'm gonna put a little more cheese. Moment of truth. Jesus. So easy and it's so good. I mean, that took maybe 15 minutes to make. I know you, any of you guys could do this at home. Give it a try.